Hey guys, I know many of you in this hour as I pray and intercede for you, I see the uh, struggle and specifically I hear the cry of God's people in this hour saying, Lord, what is what do we have left to hope in? I'm struggling to have any hope um, and feeling like there's nothing to place your hope in in this hour because of the delay, because of the stretching of the um, transition season, of the wilderness season, and the Lord has really stretched you, and some of you are at a place where you've said to the Lord, I, I am sinking, Lord, or I am giving up on um, trusting you because everything around me is screaming the opposite of what you have spoken. Um, I know what I heard you say uh, those years ago, those months ago, those weeks ago. I know what I heard you say, but everything around me in my situation leaves me no reason to hope. And the word um, of being hopeless uh, really stood out to me as I interceded for the body of Christ in this hour. And what the Lord was showing me as I prayed and pressed in is he showed me an image of Peter when he steps out of the boat to say to show faith and to walk across the water to his Lord. When he initially took that step, like many of you, when you took a step of faith, of obedience, or you said yes to the Lord, I'm all in, you rededicated yourself, or you committed yourself to him, you said yes to whatever he was saying, and let him purify you, that yes, those first steps of getting out of the boat and walking on the water, there was an inertia, there was an, a pushing forward through the energy and excitement of, it be, your, of your yes to the Lord. But as you've walked across the water, um, and as time has passed and there's been a wearying of wave after wave hitting you, you, some of you have come to a place where you feel like Peter that you've begun to sink or you're already, you know, a foot under the waves because you look around and say, I don't have anything to put my hope in, in this season. I don't know what to hope in anymore. Lord, I'm looking around and I'm trying to grasp for something to put my hope in that you have promised, even just a sliver of light to peek through to say, yes, uh, there is the hope. I'll keep hoping and you can't find it. And the Lord sees you. He sees you and he hears you. He sees the tears that you've cried. He sees the pain, the physical pain pain in your body. He sees the, uh, the emotional pain over that relationship or that loss or that waiting. And he says to you, I know you see nothing to put your hope in. Place your hope in Jesus. Just like Peter, his one hope, his one hope and his eyes had to be focused on the Lord alone because the Lord was leading him to a destination of great leadership and that that faith walk across the water was part of a huge preparation for him to operate in that apostolic leadership. That was huge for him. But the Lord knew that he had to learn to just beeline his eyes upon the Lord Jesus Christ in order to make it across those waves. And that is what the Lord was saying. He said, there is nothing around you, no hope around you to cling in. So cling to Christ alone. Let your everything be clinging like if you can see yourself wrapping your arms around the Lord Jesus clinging to him in this hour that is where your hope is and the Lord will allow us to have no hope in the natural sometimes even things look worse than when you started this process he allows it because he needs us to come to a place of complete and utter surrender where everything that we hope for is all in Christ himself and Christ himself is enough and that's what the Lord was showing me is that when we have that simplistic faith it's very simple and there's freedom in simplicity and I know that all of you can say yes to that when things aren't complicated and they're very simple um, when we may have a spiritual freedom in that to say I don't need to see something in the natural to hope in and all the waves can be beating and crashing down on me, but I am hoping, I'm placing my hope, and I'm clinging to Christ Jesus, my Lord. He is enough, and he is everything, and without him, 
if everything around me was fine and the sun was shining, everything was just right, if I didn't have him, I would have no hope. So he will take us through a process in the waiting for the promise to be fulfilled, for the breakthrough to come. He will take us through a process where there is nothing else to hope in except Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we will come if we say yes to that and let the Lord uh, fully embrace the Lord in complete simplicity of he is my only hope. If we, he, if we will let him take us to that place of complete surrender and simplicity, then we can go through any trial and anything in the future and always have hope because we know where our only hope lies and that is in Jesus Christ. And so we have to learn that some way and oftentimes it's through the season that you're going through right now whereas you can't see any hope. Either nothing has changed in your situation or things have gotten worse and that is the perfect opportunity for you and me to learn that we can say, Jesus Christ, you are my only hope. You are everything to me and I will cling to you alone because there's nothing else to cling to. And the other thing the Lord kept saying over and over and over in, in my spirit as I prayed about this and prayed for you is I heard him say, Jesus Christ, you are the captain of my ship. And so I encourage you to say that to the Lord Jesus in this hour, that I cling to you alone. You are my only hope. And Jesus, you are the captain of my ship. I know many people like to say, I'm the captain of my own ship. I know there's a famous quote, but in reality, those who are given over to the kingdom of God and walk in complete freedom, which is what we all want, complete freedom as a child of God and a warrior in his kingdom, those are the ones who've said, Jesus Christ, you are the captain of my ship and whatever you do, whatever you say, and wherever you lead me, I will go and I don't need to know where we're going. I don't need to have all the steps laid out before me. I say you are the captain of my ship.